Right, we just see the Azzurri warming up over there. This is going to be big, I think. Uh, one question mark of this Finnish team has been, uh, do they have the ability to score big runs in the T10 format? And Coolest named club in Europe. He's up here right now, and he's going to get whacked away for the first boundary of the day. So Jordan O'Brien waited a long time to see him in a Finnish Bears shirt. Cracked away. That's a really good shot from Collins. That'll be a confidence booster for him. Oh, and might be soon, though, because O'Brien tries to pull one. Probably wasn't quite short enough to play that shot. Little inside edge makes a mess of the stumps. And we have our first wicket of the weekend, 17 for one. Pitched up. And Cherry wants it, and he's going to get it. It's an awkward one for the field up. And that's a pretty confident way to get off the mark. Four runs. This is hit through the offside and test the outfield. And this time the outfield passed the test. Collins with the second boundary into the power play. Well, he could have immediate success. And he will. Bit of a steep lap. <laughs> it took, took a bit of time wheeling back. But that's the end of Nell and Cherry. The pace off not really dealt with that well. Fernando with the early strike. The score is 26 for two. Up in the air, hanging a long time, and out of here, Maximo. Well, there's the easy power of share you see on display. Badly needed six for Finland. And this is high, and who wants it? It's the bowler going for the ball, Zainali, and he takes the catch. We well, made a pretty tough situation look easy there. He was having to catch it kind of over the shoulder. But Cher, unfortunately for him, is basically a six and out as Finland lose their skipper. It's 40 for three. Briefly. And now it's going to be the end of Collins. We could never really get going there. In both uh, T20 and T10 cricket, they've uh, kind of failed to uh, time the ball as nicely as they'd like or hit the big shots they'd want. In the air, and a brilliant catch. Diving to the left, and Zeb's going to have to go for a duck. So we've seen a few firsts of the series. Now we see our first duck, and yeah, what a brilliant catch that is. It's finished Premier League that we were covering just after the lockdown. As Salonen gets something outside the legs, and he makes him pay. Maximo! Half a dozen badly needed runs for the Bears. And he's going to go for another one as good forward by Salon and turns this into a half volley. It's an expansion in European cricket. As Sharif comes back, and this is going to be into the hole. That's four runs. Nice shot by Junaid Khan. Oh, he's bowled him. And it's high ish, but I don't think it's that high. Salon can't believe it. He swung around it. And uh, I mean, some, I have seen these occasionally be over waste, but I think they're. But you can see, yeah, it's just below the waist. And, and I mean just as the timber is rearranged. Struggling, but bend with it out to the batter. They probably need it at the moment. This is in the air. Simran. Oh, fantastic effort as he goes one-handedly. He'll be disappointed. He is one of the best fielders in Europe. Uh, this one gets past him and blows over for six. Now hanging in the air. This time it will be caught. And that's Nish Fernando. Coming in, second catch of the innings for him. Down to Parney, goes six and out. Has the right idea, though. But Finland now in the ninth. They are 73 for seven. He just uh, pulls that one a bit too short, really, there, Singh. And Down to Parney thinks he has a chance. Yeah. Right, that might help, but it might not. Oh, what a good catch that is from Madupa Fernando. Talked about the fact he once took five catches in a 10-over match. I thought this was always dying on him. Ray starting on Monday. Oh, nice shot. There's just a flat bat smack from Avashash. She picked the slow ball and he smacks it. Well, maybe, because this is going to be edged away. And not for the first time, not for the last time this tournament. And edge flies away for a boundary. Right now, the 84, plus whatever comes off this ball. And they may get none, because it should be caught. It's dropped. Well, didn't expect that. They'll come back for two. Should be run out, and it is. But one bonus run at least. Because uh, they, they do come back from the impossible two. It'll be 85 for nine. And uh, Rilla has no problem. So, okay, it cost them one. But I think all things considered, it was a pretty polished uh, effort from 
Italy in the field. Close out strong over here. It's up in the air. This is a catching opportunity. This needs to be taken by Finland, and it is taken. So we, we said they desperately needed that one. They had to get a wicket early, and they do. It's uh, Fernando who departs. Well, now the tables have turned for him. Oh, this one is absolutely middled. A brilliant shot. He crunches it away. And a six, every six is going to feel like a massive blow. Oh, this one is mistimed. It actually goes exactly where the fielder was positioned previously. And it goes away for a boundary. Hits this, not quite off the middle, but effective enough. He gets four runs outside half of the bat. Well, hit hard and always takes out Rajmani. It'll Roll into the rope. This one comes in and whacked away to mid wicket. Long, long chase, and the fielder won't, won't get there. So Pereira gets going. He gets three boundaries. Oh, he's absolutely cracked first ball. That's going to go over the fence. Maximo. Oh, fraction short again, but this time might have found the fielder right back to the wall and gone. So six and out for Rajmani. And Saladin has his first international wicket. Well held out there on the fence. So they needed something to happen. They do. This is up. It's in the air. And it's smashed for six. Maximo. A little bit short. Goes after it. And Joy's been woken up here. Goes on the jump cut. Four runs. Wow, that is absolutely horned out of the ground. Chin high, full toss. Do not bowl there. Maximo. Wow, steps across this time and gets plenty of it. Sharif showing his power. Maximo. It goes to the skies this time. Now, someone should get to this. Long chase for Cher, and he takes it. Well, that's solid from the captain. They need a turning point, probably a bunch of turning points, but the captain... Does very, very well to reach that. Dandapani with his first wicket of the series. It's 59 for three. Wow. Well, that was technically a chance, but it was also past Dandapani before he could really react a couple of weeks ago. And Italy would be one of the, the teams playing that. Oh, no. Well, you won't see this very often. Takes this on. And a really good effort, but it's going to be four. Uh, worked away, and I think this will be it. So Pereira finishes things off. He looks in good touch, doesn't he? He's going to finish on 37. And Italy do bring up the first win of this ECI, and they do it with 10 balls to spare.